Greetings fellow Cybertronians, it's I, Iron Rod Prime, and I am back with a special Blackout review. Because my whole block is experiencing a blackout, which is awesome. So I figured, you know, I've got nothing better to do, so let's record a review. Can't upload it, but at least I can record it. Just a thing. Anyway. <laughs> Today, up on the docket, we have Titans Returns, uh, what was his name again? Hardhead, that's right, that's right, his name is Hardhead. Hardhead, get it? Anyway, this is him, this is Hardhead, and he transforms into, would this be classified as an H-Tank? I think it would. Uh, H-Tank, it's got, H-Tanks are usually, uh, classified by having four separate, uh, tread sections, so, yeah, I guess this is an H-Tank. Anyway, uh, roll, quite nicely. Uh, kind of sounds like he's scraping a little bit, uh, but, um, anyway, he rolls, he's cool. Uh, Tank turret can move up and down. Can also look left and right. Well, not really. This way. Is it? It's my left. My left, your right. And uh, you can move. You can move right a lot more than you can move left because the cockpit is right there. Gets in the way, but you can move up quite a bit. And of course, this little gun up here can rotate. All the way around, full 360, because this gun is also removable. That's his robot gun in robot mode. Robot gun in robot mode. Yes, I know what I said. Shut up. Put that aside for now. And then, let's come over here and open up his cockpit and take out this little dude. This is his headmaster unit. I don't remember his name because I don't remember. I don't bother remembering their American names. So I'll go by the Japanese and say that this is Hardhead proper. Or this is the real Hardhead. This, of course, being his transactor. And he's not much to look at. He's a mostly green, yellow face. Silver body. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad, honestly. Kind of reminds me of Springer, honest, in a way. Yeah, whatever. Okay, put him off to the side. Actually, we'll stand here. I can't see him. But... Put him right. Yeah, whatever. I just put him right. Okay, so uh, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to come back here, untag legs from the back, bring them forward, like so. Take this little bit right here, flip it up, collapse the legs so that he has proper legs that he can stand on, because, you know, Robots need to stand on legs, apparently. Uh, I'll flip out the feet. And can stand, which... That looks like something, I guess. <laughs> um, and rotate these up to get them out of the way. Then bring it back down there. And then bring this to the back. And all that will connect together. Give this little clip on his butt, or this little slot on his butt, or, does he clip into the slot on his butt, or does he, yeah, he clips into the slot on his butt, <laughs> and, yeah, there we go, mm -hmm. leave this at the back for right now, and then arms come down, and they extend, and wrists, out like so 
Same on this side, bring down, extend, and there you basically have Hardhead's body. And come over here, bring in this little dude again, and one simple fold, and one fold later, you have a head. And that head will go right there, and then last step, just bring up the cannon, right there. And here you have Hardhead in robot mode. And he's neat. I like it. I've always liked Hardhead. Uh, he's probably my favorite out of the, um, out of the Autobot Headmasters. Or the, the proper Autobot Headmasters. Not the, not the new ones like Blur and Scourge and, uh, whoever else. Anyway, um, I'm talking about the proper headmasters, like, uh, Hardhead, Highbrow, or the, at least the G1 headmasters. Um, uh, like, uh, Hardhead, Highbrow, Chrome Dome, and Brainstorm. Uh, so, let's get into articulation. Head is on the ball joint. Oh, I forgot to... Do this dude's. Well, I should probably. I should probably do this dude's articulation first. Okay, so let's uh, get him back into his little mode, and he doesn't have much in terms of articulation. He uh, arms are on a ball joint. Mm -hmm. Move him out to the side. Can flip his arms. Can go all the way up. Uh, legs are unfortunately squished together like all of the headmasters. And he bend up. I was thinking bend all the way up to the transformation. Uh, you can bend at the knee, which is there. And sit like that. At the knee. You can also bend here. For some reason. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to get out of the legs. And of course, the head is on the ball joint because this operates as the neck for the uh, robot mode. So, yeah. And that's pretty much all you get. So, transforming him back. And stick him right there. So, like I was saying, head is on ball joints. Yeah. So, you get a little bit of wiggly waggly. Mm -hmm. And arms are on, they're on a hinge here, they're on a hinge at the shoulder due to transformation. Only you can only go about that far. And then ball joint there. And on a. Technically, they're on a double jointed. Technically, they have a double jointed elbow, but you're only going to get about. That much use out of it, if you can see that. And, uh, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's a little bit over 90, so that's cool, I suppose. It's a little bit over 90, so that's, that's neat. Uh, then coming down to wrists, they can rotate. It's a little tricky to get in there, but the wrists can rotate. Like that. Uh, nothing at the waist, through the way he transforms. Uh, legs are on ball joints. Just swivel below that. And the knees have, uh, say about 90 degrees. Yeah, about 90. 90 degrees of bend. And feet can pivot up and down to accommodate certain poses, but I don't think they're going to hold anything. <clears throat> so yeah. Overall, he's pretty good. In the articulation department. So, bring in his gun, and 
This can go into either hand. And, huh? and like it. And there you go. And as a bonus, you can flip this out like so, and you can have a little Titan Master suit right there, manning his turret. And also, you can also put the gun in there as well. Uh, yep. Also, you can, uh, the gun comes off, so you can attach this to, like, um, Fort Max, or Blaster, or Optimus, or even Soundwave. And, uh, back to the little turret. Again, you can also put the gun there, so. Double turret power. Yay! Double turret power! Woo! Uh -huh. Put that there. Put that thing back where it can come from. Or so help me, so help me. Put that thing with the musical. Alright. And that's pretty much the whole shebang. That's pretty much all he does. That is him. That is Hardhead. Transformers Titans Returns Hardhead, to be exact. <laughs> Always have to be thorough. Always. That way. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what I'm going with this. <laughs> anyway, so this has been a special Blackouts review of Titans Returns. Hardhead. I don't know if I'll be doing any more of these types of things because this is probably just a one-off. So how many blackouts can there possibly be? I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling like I am. Like I do. I don't know what else to say. So, this has been Iron Lord Prime. This has been Hardhead, and we will see you all later. Take care.